YouTube, Todd here with another video. Today we're going to focus on how to set up expression maps in Cubase 9. So if you're like me, um, I don't have a very powerful computer and I'm not running a slave computer, but I try to run a decent sized template. I just discovered how to do this, uh, use expression maps, and it's cut my uh, track count down a lot. So basically, if you're one of those people that has a, a track for every articulation, for your instruments, you know, your track count could just go out through the roof. Um, so here's, this might be a way to save you some resources on your computer and save you some time. Um, first off, I want to show you uh, on Steinberg's website, if you go there, search for expression maps. They already have on certain library, sample library companies, they already have uh, expression maps already set up so you can download this and import them into your, temp your, your template or your file. So right now they currently have Audio Bro, uh, Best Service, Chris Hines Instruments, um, Cinematic Strings, uh, Cine Samples, uh, East West Quantum Leap, all their libraries here as you can see, uh, Giratan, I think I pronounced that right, uh, some Native Instruments, Orchestral Tools, uh, they have some libraries, uh, Project Sam, Sound Iron and Steinberg has some of their own for Halion uh, and VSL, Beyond a Symp uh, Symphonic Library, and VR2. So that's what they have currently on their website that you can go download and import them into your template, which is pretty nice. And you can configure them and adjust them. So let me uh, open up an instrument here and let me show you how I have this one set up. So let me open up the actual. Uh, instance of this so you can see what articulations is in this patch and then I'll show you the expression map. All right, so basically if we come over here to the mapping uh, within this Piccolo articulations patch. So basically this is a one patch that has all these key switches down here at the bottom. So what you can do is I have these all set up here and then if you go over here to your tabs in Cubase you'll see expression maps. If you hold down command and click you can open it up if you have this window open. And that's a little tip too. Uh, just hold down the command button if you're on a Mac. Uh, would that be, I think, control on a PC? And you can open up more instances of these drop down menus. That's just a little tip for you. So, what I got here is Expression Map set up for this instrument here. And right here. So, let me open up Expression. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. So, we, you click on right here. And as you can see, I already have all these maps set up. Um, so if I go to expression map setup, it will bring up the dialog box here. So this is where you will set up all your expressions. And what you need to do is what we'll do is we'll set up a brand new one. And like I said, if you downloaded those off the Steinberg website, what you would do is you would hit load right here, find that file, zip file that you done, unzip it, and then load it into this expression maps and they will all come up right here. Actually, this one right here is was actually from Steinberg's, but I've kind of, uh, you know, I edited it a little bit, um, but this is, it will all come up for you and then you can go and set this. So let's create a new one. So what you want to do to create a new one is you want to add map right here with the plus. Uh, it's untitled, so you can just title, we're going to title it test. And then, so how many articulations we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six articulations. So what we need to do is we need to create six sound slots, which there's one already there, so we need five more. So there, we got our six. So we want to look on here and find the key switches that we got. So for example, we're going to put this one, we'll just say short one eighth. Okay. Next, what you want to do is you want to set your remote, what key switch you want this on your MIDI controller. So I'll hit this and I'm just going to say C zero. Type C, whoops, type C zero. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to click output mapping. So you want to click here, make sure you add this slot. This is very important. And you want to make sure that this right here where it says C3 matches what you have set over here. So I have C0. So all we got to do is go over here and edit, enter. There we go. So now that key switch is set up in this expression map that I'm creating. And whatever I have over here. So then you're going to just going to follow the process. So this one's going to be short. Whoops short uh, one fourth enter we want to set our remote so I have D0 and then make sure you come over here and then you could set this one D0 it's very simple it's time-consuming but in the long run this is going to save you so much more time so you're not fumbling over articulation patches all over the place you can have this all set up within Cubase 
and I'll show you the real beauty of it. So this is so basically what you want to do is make sure you set up all these key switches and make sure these numbers right here that you have here is set exactly how you have them set within contact or within the instrument that you're using. So there we go. So there's that. Now where the beauty comes in is if you're going to create, let's just create some a track here. Whoops. All right, there we go. All right, let's pull this up so you can see this. So what you want to do is, is you want to set up uh, where to go? Articulations and dynamics. So there we go. Now, as you can see, there is all of the articulations that we created. And all we have to do is if we put some notes in here, okay. so there we go. And all we have to do is we just create, there we go. And then if you want, let's say if we want this one to be this, just create like that. And what this is doing is you're programming the key switches so you don't have to go in here. Sometimes you can go in there and put a little, um, you know, you put your little dot in here on C0 and you have to go and do all that. Well, now you don't have to do that if you set up these expression maps correctly. All you have to do is just program them in here have, and play your MIDI notes in how you want them. And then you can go in there and fine tune each articulation for every note you have to do. Complete time saver. And like I said, a complete track saver in your template. So you're not fumbling around, you know, hundreds of tracks trying to find that articulation. If you create your expression maps correctly, like I, like I just showed you, it, this will be a time saver. Trust me on this. I just discovered this and it's, it's saved a lot of time. As you can see, my track count and my woodwinds is literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tracks. And all articulations are built in there within those patches. And like I said, all you have to do is, you know, when you play in your MIDI notes, all you have to do is go down and program them right here. And it should automatically switch for you. It will automatically switch. Sometimes one thing I had a little bit of a, a problem when I first, it wasn't, our, it wasn't like, you know, getting the patches that I needed. So sometimes I had to go down and actually hit my keyboard with the, with the key switches like that. But as you can see, when I'm hitting them uh, right here, you could see them actually moving and it will tell you, um, you know, what key switch you're using if you see that arrow moving, but you can go in there and program it in the, in the MIDI roll like I have right there and it should work. So I hope that helps everybody. Um, I know it's a little fumbly. Uh, it's, it's kind of hard explaining expression maps because it's so easy. I mean, it literally, all you have to do, it's like programming, you know, MIDI, but you're just programming. Actually, if you go back and watch my, um, my note expression video, it's in there. It's similar to that process. I have my note expressions all set up for my uh, CC data. Well, that's what you're doing here is you're, set, you're setting up basically your data for your key switches all within Cubase. So if you have any questions or need to, if I need to explain anything else, please leave a comment below or you can reach out to me on Twitter. I'll try to answer your questions. Or if there's something else you want me to show you in another video, put it down below or any questions on this template setup. Uh, Put it in the comments. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, uh, like, share the video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.